Nick PG seven eight. What is up everybody, Nick PG7 here. Um, this video is going to be about how to mount CSS and TF2 on your Gary's Mod server. So, if you do have Counter-Strike Source installed on your computer... Um, no. If you do have it installed on your computer, you can go ahead and... Um, go to your Steam folder, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, then go to Counter-Strike Source and then go ahead and open up your C strike folder and then go up here and just click this like click the white um, part of it and it'll kind of have the whole line copied well not copied but highlighted so go ahead and press control C to copy it go ahead and go to your Gary's Mod server so Gmod um, go to your Gary's Mod folder again go to CFG and open up your mount.cfg go ahead and right click open that with notepad plus plus or whatever thing you want to use so um, in here you're going to find C strike and TF already mounted but not fully mounted because this is not the right directory. So what you want to go ahead and do is just copy all this line right here and go ahead and click paste. It should it might already be in there but just to make sure I have a different, um, I'm burning my Steam on SSD so I have F instead of G, um, C drive and then I have a um, games and launchers and all that stuff. So once you actually put this in here make sure you keep the quotes in there and all that. Make sure you keep the spaces in between this. Um, just keep this a C strike. Go ahead and go to these two lines right here, and go ahead and highlight and X and uh, backspace it. Uh, leave these spaces right here just to be just to be sure. Um, once that's in, it should mount correctly. Um, so that's pretty much how you do TF2. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> CSS. Um, the same thing pretty much for TF2. Just go back into your common folder and then go to um, Team Fortress 2. And it's going to be called TF right here. So go ahead and click that. Click the little box. Control C. Go back to your mount.config. Uh, go ahead and highlight right here. Control V. And then take these two things out. And then go ahead and Control S to save. Now, when I launch my server, they will both be mounted. Um, now, this is now. This now we're going to go on the step where if you do not have the game inst um, installed, actually, like you don't like you got it for free or you whatever you did to it. Um, so, this is kind of the safe way, I say, um, in case you don't have it. So, go ahead and you know, just skip this step. I'm going to undo everything that's in here. Um, go ahead and minimize that. Go ahead and go to your um, folder where you put your Gmod server or whatever. Just go ahead and name it CSS server or anything you pretty much want to. Um, and then go ahead and open up your Steam CMD. Alright, once you're in there, go ahead and type in login anonymous. If I can spell anonymous right, that'd be fantastic. Alright, so everything works fine. Then you want to go ahead and go force underscore, just like we did this other one, force install underscore directory, and then just go ahead and go to here, drag the CSS server into there, and it'll automatically put it in there. Press enter. Now you want to go ahead and, and type in the um, update tool for Counter Strike Source itself. So that tool, that name, that that name is sorry is gonna be two three two three three zero. So app underscore update two three two three three zero. Now this will install all the things for CS. This is pretty much the same folder as um this folder right here. This is pretty much installing this this folder itself to this folder right here. So I'll be right back when this is done installing. Be right back. All right, we are back. So it has been successfully installed. You can see right here, app 232330 fully installed. So now when you go ahead and go to your CSS server, you will see everything in here pretty much just like it is right here, <laughs> except the Steam app. So what you want to go ahead and do is literally, actually, I actually gave more. I didn't even see this part. Oh, my bad. Whoops. <laughs> so it actually does. Um, yeah, it actually does all this part. I didn't. Wow. Okay. Sweet. All right. So go ahead and go to the same spot you did before. Um, just go ahead and click here. Control C. Go back into your server mount. So go ahead and go to Gmod, Gary's Mod, Config, Mount.cfg. Edit with Notepad plus plus. Then you want to go ahead and just paste it in here. Same thing as before, just with a different, pretty much a different directory that you just downloaded. So take out the two things and control C and then boom, it's mounted. Um, pretty much the same thing for TF2. 
um, as I just showed you before, I mean, I'll I'll do it again. Um, give me one second. I had to actually find the code. So same thing. Uh, go to your Gmod. I'm oh, sorry. Go to wherever you want the server. Put TF server or put literally whatever you want. Um, go ahead and X out your Steam CMD and pretty much restart it. So Steam CMD. Um, open up, open up the application. Go to login anonymous. All right, and go back, and then you can go force, force install directory. Go ahead and drag in TF server right there. Click enter, and then app underscore update space two three two two five zero, and that will install everything involving TF two. Which okay, I was about to say, <laughs> pretty sure this is way way more than CSS. So it's quick this to take a little longer. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll be back back when this is done. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, so successive installed as you can see app three two two five zero. So go ahead and X out of that. Now, if you go into your TF server file, you see we have the same files as we did before. So go ahead and go to uh, TF right here. Uh, click the thing as usual. Copy. Go back to your uh, Gary's Mod folder, go to Gary's Mod, and go to config. Mount that CFG, Notepad++, do the same thing I did before. Take this line, paste it, take out these two slashes, control C, and then boom, TF is mounted. Um, for this same process, um, I hope showing you guys the two different steps on how to do this is sort of helpful because I know some people don't have the game um, actually on their computer, but they want to have it mounted on the server so I'm kinda glad I show you guys both way both how to do it through your steam folder and how to do it through steam cmd um, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial let me know if you have any questions I'll be glad to answer them as soon as I can um, again I'm sorry I kinda went fast I'm sorry if I didn't explain stuff correctly but I hope you guys all have an awesome day and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye What's up, you guys? Hope you guys have enjoyed that video. Make sure if you did, make sure to check out my social media names, which can be right here, or you can check out the description for the actual links. You can also check out my previous video, which is going to be right here, and you can also drop a sub if you guys are interested, which is going to be right here. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.